Hi, this is Becky Nunn with Nunn Design, and I'm going to show you how you can use deerskin lace to tie yet another one on. And we're going to be using knots and um, creating knots and a knot down here to create a piece like this. What you'll need for creating a necklace like this is you're going to need some deerskin lace, and I am using the three millimeter deerskin lace, and you're going to need some. Uh, different components. I have a lobster clasp, two different sizes of jump rings, a couple of little wide hold beads, and then my focal point that I'm going to be tying on down here. We also will need uh, two pairs of needle nose pliers for doing the assembly on these pieces here, and a pair of scissors. Since I'm really trying to be consistent with my deerskin lace necklace, and this is a finished piece that's 16 inches. If I want it to come out perfect each time for 16 inches, well, maybe not perfect, but close to 16 inches as we possibly can, you're gonna want to have a ruler handy so that you're measuring um, with while you're doing this. The first step I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and pre-assemble my uh, pieces right here, the jump rings to the toggle clasp and the jump ring to the other uh, jump ring, which I'm actually using as um, part of the toggle clasp. So using your needle nose pliers, your set of two, I'll go ahead and hold your jump ring at three o'clock. You're going to thread on your um, jump ring and close it up. So holding at three o'clock and nine o'clock, you're going to make sure that that uh, slit right there is flush. And then turn around and do at three o'clock, thread on your lobster clasp and hold at nine and close up. So now you have your two jump rings ready to go. And you're gonna want to measure out about 26, I believe. It's 26 inches of your deerskin lace. It's gonna take 26 inches in order to have it um, all tie up and be the length of 16 inches when you're all done. So go ahead and cut a strand of 26 inches. And the first part of doing this is a little bit tricky. These beads um, have really wide holes and they're designed to work with leather cording, but it's really challenging to get it uh, onto that. Even if it's a three millimeter, it's a little bit challenging to get it onto that your skin lace. So you want to cut uh, really as sharp as you can a point onto the leather to make it easier for you to thread that um, bead through. And you can see I have a really, really sharp point. And this part right here is, is, is a little bit challenging. So you're just going to want to see if you can find a little bit of that excess and you just pull it through. Mm, so happened to be super easy that time, but it has not been in the past. So sometimes I have to use my needle nose pliers to catch a little bit of that end and pull it through. So I just thread it on the bead first and I'm tying off a little knot on one end. So we're just getting started with the first end. And I found that it's easiest to go ahead and tie on the bead first and pull that taut and you can trim off any excess or if you didn't like that pointy edge, pull your bead down. And then you're going to measure out four inches from the point of where your end is to where this is. And this is where we're going to thread on, oops, it's this one. You wanna thread on your jump ring with, this is going to be the ring and we're going to measure out four inches from the place where that ring is to the end of where my deerskin lace is. So that's four inches right there. I'll move my finger, see how that's four inches. Now we're gonna go in and we're going to tie a knot right here. So go ahead and put your jump rings through and tie a knot. Now from this point all the way down 
from this point to here is going to be 18 inches. And this is all to try to get at the end a 16 inch necklace once we have this on. So we have 18 inches and we're going to go ahead and with our lobster clasp and our jump ring we're going to thread this on. And hold it in place 18 inches from one end to the other end. So we're not taking in consideration because when I tie that knot this is going to jump down to 18 inches. So make sure that the jump ring is at 18 inches. Now hold that in place and you're going to tie your second knot on the, on the other end. Bringing in that second jump ring. Let's see how we did. Now this might not be an exact science but hopefully we have it as close as possible from one end to the other. Whoa! Okay, so you can see we're a little bit off, but not too far. So you can go ahead, if you want it to be exact, you can go ahead and loosen up that knot and bring it down tighter. So I picked up some of that excess on here and making my piece shorter. All right, so now I have my second knot and I'm ready to put on my ending bead. So again, you're gonna to want to make sure you have a really sharp point so it's easy to get that hole in. Thread it in, see how a little excess was sticking out, pull it through. Now, depending on, I'm gonna have a little bit of excess down here that I'm gonna trim away, so let me just match it up. I have approximately, let's see, I want my ends to be kind of similar. So I'm gonna move my bead up into position, it's about right there, and that's where I know I'm gonna tie my second knot, or my last knot. Now, what's nice about this is deerskin lace is a very casual look and um, it's very much in vogue to make this look handmade. So if it's not measured out perfectly and exactly matching each other, that's kind of the nature and the beauty of creating pieces like this. But that is pretty, pretty darn close. So now that we have our necklace, we're going to want to find uh, where the center mark is for attaching on our final piece down here that we can then dangle charm from. We can do all kinds of fun things with that. So there is my, my center point is approximately, let's see, approximately right here. So what I'm doing is I'm untangling my leather so my face up is faced up and my face down is face down, and this is going to make a difference when we, when we put on this last piece. So this is my last piece. You can use your needle nose pliers, but this is fairly easy. I just moved it slightly with my fingers to make sure that that um, slit inside of the jump ring is nice and flush. We're gonna go ahead and move this around like this. So I've made a loop. See how I'm making a loop and now I'm going to tuck in my ends of the deerskin lace into that loop so that I create. I wish I did know my knots. My husband is a Eagle Scout and he'd be like, oh, well that's a troll and so knot, but I can't remember. Um, Heather, do you remember what type of knot this is at the very end? Mm, she, she usually knows too. Anyway, so oops. So we're going to go ahead and create that loop, thread that through, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, and then you're going to pull it nice and taut. And you can, you know, move the cord around so that, you know, both sides are face up and you don't have one side face up and one face down before you pull it taut. 
um, making it look like this is our original piece that we started with. So that is what uh, we have been able to create and we hope that uh, you've enjoyed learning how to tie on um, and create knots to make a fun deerskin necklace like you see here. This is Becky Nunn with Nun Design. Thanks for joining us.